Today, I'm gonna to share with you why you might consider clickbaiting your audience, just like I did with this video, or perhaps explain why it would be a stupid thing to do. The third part of our MSP Mac plan from today's sponsor, Marketopia, is to do social media marketing. And there are so many facets to doing strong social media marketing. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down exactly what good social media marketing looks like and provide you with a few hacks to save you time doing this yourself. So we all know the same problem that many of us have. We're busy running the business, and so we don't have any time to do any marketing. Like if anything, I think social media marketing is probably one of the only ones that people do find time to do because if you're like most people, you probably spend at least part of your day just scrolling through LinkedIn and possibly other services like TikTok or Facebook and Instagram. So what does good social media marketing look like to me? And I'm gonna break this down into a few segments of connections, engagement, and content. For connections, every day, just spend five minutes on LinkedIn, like looking for people to connect with who fall into your ideal customer avatar. Those could be business owners from your local area, maybe senior positions in your dream list clients, or perhaps who work in your chosen vertical. Spending just five minutes each day, you could connect with anywhere from say one to five people every single working day of the week, which gives you the opportunity to make introductions and just start conversations with people who you otherwise wouldn't have, which then opens up future opportunities to work with those people. Now, once you've connected with them, we move on to the engagement piece. And engagement is just what it says on the tin. Engage with those ideal customer avatars. Technically, it doesn't matter what platform they're on, but more often than not, this will again be on LinkedIn. And I'm not talking about spanning each other with those, hey, John, here's my latest newsletter that I really think you should read. Or like a, hey, please sign up for my webinar. Or, hey, your IT guy is awful. Use us instead. Did they post a photo of them on a boat with the family? Awesome. Where were you sailing to? How are your kids with the uh, bumpy waves? I was out there on the water too this weekend and we did XYZ with our kids and they absolutely loved it. Do you have any suggestions where we can take our kids? Now, you know they're married. Maybe they have kids, they like boats, and maybe even own a boat. Pure gold to add to your marketing efforts in future. But the point I'm making here is that you want to engage with their content, and dare I say it, treat it more like Facebook. <laughs> Use LinkedIn to build up personal relationships with people that you don't know. Like here is your opportunity to basically start hanging out with who you wanna hang out with. Like once they know you, once they like you, once they trust you, then you will find it much easier to engage with them and help them and their businesses when the time comes. For this, I'd recommend doing this when you can, like a few minutes whilst waiting for a meeting, waiting to pick your kids up from school, whatever spare time you can find. Because the next thing is something that can require a little bit more planning and that is content. Content is pretty much the only way to grow a following on any social platform. Post content that your audience wants, that they consume, and that they engage with. And I'd like to summarize this content as PVA, personal, videoable, and actionable. Your content should be personal. Call on things like personal situations and things that have happened to you or things that have affected you or your business. Share what you have learned and why others should learn what you've learned as well. Now there is one like hack beyond this that works super quickly for growth, and that is to post more conflict conflicting content. Simple example of this is when you discover someone has done something wrong and they're blatantly like ignoring you or not correcting that mistake, then call them out on social media. Like LinkedIn is like the B2B world of Twitter for exactly this. Now I know so many situations where someone has been wronged, then they write a post about someone who hasn't paid them, who then gets paid immediately. Shock horror. And they clock up a huge number of like views and comments and connections because of their post. Now this over dramatic posting thing does work very well, but you need to be very careful not to you know blow this out of all proportion. I know some people who post content just for the sake of posting content to like ruffle feathers just to get engagement on their posts because they know all, you know, get the views and perform well. And ultimately that does sell more of their services. It's not a great strategy for most. You need a very, very thick skin, but it's one that I have seen work for a number of people now. I also think the content should be videoable. Like for a portion of the content that you're putting out, why not pick up your phone and just record yourself saying that content out loud instead of, you know, just typing it out. Video content gets better engagement and allows the watcher to quickly build a rapport with you, which helps then establish the whole like know, like, and trust factor way faster than just posting text content. Now I did make a whole video around my passion for using video marketing in your MSP, which you can see here. But for now, all I will say is that you should include video posts in your social messages. And then lastly, you should include some actionable content in your posts. Now these are clear call to actions and can work as a direct lead generation for the right audience. Now as someone who's worked with MSPs, I could have taken the recent news of an MSP being breached to create a checklist to help other MSPs check that they have the right protection in place. Post that on LinkedIn, talk about the challenges MSPs face and give a clear call to action at the end to download the checklist. Perfect stuff for growing your mailing list. As a bit of a bonus tip around 
around social media content, I also would highly recommend coming up with a few buckets. Now, a bucket is a category of content. You might have current news, cybersecurity, personal updates, problems and solutions. Now you can make a post from one of those buckets each week. Or perhaps on Monday, you share a news article. Tuesday, you talk about cybersecurity. Wednesday, personal update. And Thursday, it's a solution to a problem. And if all else fails, you can always fall back to the Feedback Friday or Throwback Thursday post that we see like everywhere. And if all of this sounds like it's too much work or too complicated for you to do with the, like, the limited time, the limited budget than you have, then I'd recommend having a chat with today's sponsor, Marketopia. Marketopia are the smartest marketers in tech. They support IT businesses, MSPs, and vendors to create content, manage campaigns, work smarter and generally thrive as a business. The team is full of marketing experts who come from the tech space so they know what they're doing. If you need to build your brand, raise your awareness and sell your services and products then Marketopia can help. Start working smarter today and visit marketopia.com for more details. A huge thank you to Marketopia for sponsoring this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about marketing for MSPs from someone who's actually run an MSP. Next go and see what I think about how MSPs should be marketing themselves today and I'll see you next time. Cheers!